clone. I want to clone something. What can I clone? I know. The other day, my back computer became really noisy, and when I checked it out, it turned out to be my old hard drive telling me that it's gonna fail soon. So I decided to clone it onto a WD Black 1TB hard drive. The Western Digital Caviar Black spins at 7200 RPM, has 64 megabytes of cache, and has a 5 year limited warranty, the longest among the WD drives. It's compatible with both Windows and Mac. I was considering just getting a blue drive, but the black drive went on sale and I snatched one up for $48. Since I've been getting more into video editing and content creation, I thought this would be the best opportunity to upgrade to the WD Black. I promise that opening the box is definitely easier than I made it seem. So what comes in the box are mounting screws to secure your drive, an installation guide and some other random papers, and the WD Black itself. Not related to the performance or anything, but I just really love how clean Western Digital drives look. Can't judge a book by its cover, unless the cover looks really, really badass and epic. Just for the cloning process, I'm installing the hard drive on the top mounted SATA hard drive dock of my Rosewill Blackhawk ATX case. It's a really convenient feature, but I wouldn't recommend just leaving your hard drive out just chilling. But now that we have our new hard drive looking all cozy and settled, we're ready to rock. So. Let's get started. The program that we're going to be using today is Macrium Reflect Free. There are a bunch of other programs, either free or with a charge, so you have options in choosing what you want. But Macrium is definitely really simple and easy to use for just a quick clone. I included the link for this download in the description below. Once you download the installer, click and make sure that you have the free version and you have the download location that you want. When you're ready, just press download. After it's done, it brings you to this window. Just press next and move through the installation process. You can register your copy, but I decided not to. Basically, you don't have to change much of the default settings. After it's done installing, we want to make sure that our hard drive will be recognized. So we go to the disk management and initialize it. Now we go to our Macrium software and start cloning. When you open it up, it will have all of your drives in your system listed. In my system, I have my 840 EVO as a boot drive and for my frequently used programs. My Seagate Barracuda was used for mass storage. I also have my Seagate Backup Plus desktop external hard drive for more storage. When you click on one of the drives, you are given the option to either clone or create an image. In this case, I just want to clone it, so we click clone and we're brought to this window. Make sure that the source drive is the right one and then choose your destination for your clone. We chose our WD Black drive and once everything looks right, just click next. Check one more time that all of the details are correct and go on with the cloning. For cloning, you don't need to worry too much about cloning exclusively from hard drive to hard drive or SSD to SSD. So long as the data stored in the source drive can fit in the new drive, you should be good. Just as a heads up, the process on my end took a little bit over an hour. The time it takes depends on how much storage is taken up on your personal drive, so just take that into account. My old hard drive was getting a little bit full, so that's why it took about an hour for me. Once Macrium finishes up, you can check to see that your source drive and new hard drive are identical. If they are, then congratulations, you are a master cloner, just like me too. Real talk though, I hella learned about cloning when I watched Pokemon the first movie back in second grade. I hope this quick tutorial helped you guys out. I had to do this anyway, so I thought it'd be cool to let you guys join the ride. Tell me what your favorite cloning software is in the comments down below. Check out our old videos and stay tuned for more coming out soon. Thanks for watching Cool Beans Tech. Subscribe for more content and we'll see you guys later.